All right. We finished eating for the time being. And uh, I paused. I wanted to look at the draft while eating. So it would save some time. But <laughs> such a beautiful moment to pause. Such a beautiful moment to pause because... Uh, That's how I'm feeling right now because Renekton ban on blue side, lovely. Fuck Renekton. T2 is not made for Renekton at all. That one, obviously they have a good response. The cannon looked beautiful. It wasn't laying against Renekton, but that matchup is very heavy favorite for cannon. And cannon rise was um, free to step to the plate. And here they are putting the gun to Daman's head. They're like, hey, we first pick Zaya, you get Kaiser. You ban Zaya, we pick Kaiser. What do you play, Nuclear? Because this place is about to go radioactive. You wanna play Yasuo against me? You wanna play Yasuo against me? You wanna play Lucian? You are going to snowball Nuclear? Not gonna happen. So let's see. Let's see. I doubted Nuclear before and he delivered. Oh, I need to mute. I need to mute. Ah! Ah, there's gonna be a comment. Oh, I don't like listening to the castles. I want to listen to you, which is which is nice. I shouldn't complain. We have some insane production value going on here on uh, the Xukanex Shadrin, which is for some reason my YouTube name, uh, YouTube channel. Jace Garagas, interesting. Dropping the Leeson. No more Leeson looking. Let's see now if G2 are going for the Kale to match the Jace. This is the response that we've seen in the past. Let's see what else G2 has in mind. Maybe a Camille? Maybe just picking support to jungle already? Putting G2 on comfort? Banning Kiana every game? No confidence in Kiana? Lul? And that's the Yasuo! Yasuo can go into Rise. Yasuo can go into Rise. 70% win ratio? Yasuo? Since when? I thought Yasuo lost every game. I thought legit Yasuo lost every game. I remember Perks playing it. I remember Niski playing it. Maybe Nuclear won with it against some shit team. Yeah, maybe. Elise ban. Keep targeting. Yankos. G2 even with their bans. Targeted Yankos. Yumi ban, okay. I think this, uh, you know, Yasuo mid against, uh, against Ryze is pretty decent. Because you can't root uh, without hitting E nowadays. So, if uh, Yasuo win walls the E, then most of the time Ryze is in trouble. If uh, they're committing all in. So I like the Yasuo. Orn is banned. Honestly, you wouldn't want to pick Orn against Yasuo. That's a rough one. And here, uh, they're going to keep the Yasuo flex, pick support fourth, potentially, because they see already Kaiza and Nautilus. Unless Nautilus is going mid and Ryze is going top, or Nautilus is going top into Jace. Could happen. And that's a Gragas support straight off the bat. Yasuo Gragas is going in the bot lane. Uh, Yasuo can still go mid. Yasuo can still go mid. But it'll be fucking funny uh, to see Nuclear play Yasuo into uh, Perkovic. Yasuo is, is good into Rise. I like the matchup into Rise, honestly. Um, some people will uh, disagree, but I like it, especially to, after the changes to the shield and changes to the W that you can't root without, uh, without it. Yanko's uh, famous drinking technique. Let's drink like him in his honor. Shit. Ah. Don't try it at home. Oh, uh, Yorick. Yorick Mori is spicy because here he doesn't even know what he's laning against. He thinks, oh, Jace is going top, but hey, Jace could go mid. Jace could go mid and he could get fucked with here. And you pick Irelia against Yorick and he says bye bye. But yeah, their composition, if they pick Irelia, is not going to be that spicy. Ryze is going to get a lot of five man EQs. <laughs> That's for sure. Corky. Corky, Corky, Corky. I think Ryze is good into Corky. This is a good draft for G2, honestly. I think this is a great draft for G2. This draft is, in my opinion, heavily favored towards G2. They have good matchups everywhere. Yorick against Jace, you need to snowball hard. Usually you want a different jungler than Leeson to do that. Yorick is going to buy Ninja Tabi. Be very happy because this is, 
Honestly, the biggest Ninja Tabi game you'll ever get. This is as Ninja Tabi as you get. You know, you want if right now the stock of Ninja Tabi is going through the roof because they are using this game as advertisement. Enemy has Jace, Lee Sin, Yasuo, and fucking Corky. Ninja Tabi is magnificent here. Magnificent. So Yorick is going to buy Ninja Tabi and then the 2v2 on top is going to be very hard. Same with Rek'Sai, he's going to get Ninja Tabi and the 2v2 and the 3v3 everywhere is going to be harder. Because uh, it's going to make uh, G2 so tanky already. And the bottom lane matchup, I do believe that there is going to be windows for Yasuo and Gragas to all in. But there is a specific trick to beating Yasuo and Gragas and that is in managing your wave. Build your wave, stack big ones, make sure Yasuo and Gragas can't all in. The way in for Daman in those situations is to all in when the enemy has a bigger wave. If you do it at the wrong time, you're going to lose for the rest of the game. And then afterwards, if G2's bot lane managed to get the wave into the tower, you make it bounce and then you freeze it because Yasuo cannot interact, Gragas cannot interact. If you manage to freeze the wave in front of the tower, then it's very difficult for Yasuo to unfreeze. You don't let Yasuo and Gragas push in all the way. Early levels, Yasuo's quite weak. He went for the Doran shield, classic exhaust ignite in the bot lane. No heal. And Mickey has an ignite. Showmaker with uh, fleet footwork. And of course, TP. So mid lane is going to be farm fiesta. I think Caps is going to have a better time this game. Caps played a beautiful rise game. Beautiful, beautiful rise game. And uh, I'm excited. The reason I believe that uh, G2 have a better draft here is because team fight wise, I think they are uh, a bit stronger. Uh, Daman still have some combinations to one shot someone or something like this. They have some poke tools with Jace and Corky, and maybe they can find some fancy kicks. So obviously, the state of the game matters, but I think G2 have stronger lanes, so they should transition into mid game with the lead uh, most of the time. Rek'Sai should have a bit of prior onto Lee. But this is something that can be uh, negligible. Negligible, is that a word? Well, if it isn't, I hope you know what I mean. Because I don't know what uh, other word uh, that is. Someone uh, swept and uh, took the ward. Beatson gets a kill. My cat just did some noise in his sleep. Super cute. Okay. I'm just going to double check to see if I record. Yes, I'm recording. It has happened that uh, I've gone through an entire game and it didn't record. Trying to avoid that mistake. Okay, 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 okay. For some reason Perks walks up very far. Double melee, why not? He starts from barrel. Mickey misses Q. Trying to deny as much as possible. You want to slow push. It just last it. Nuclear is not going to be allowed to last it. Caps walks up in W's, but he's taking a lot of minion damage in return. And here, uh, this trade is just better for Showmaker because you know, he has more potions. So I disagree with this choice. That's an E from Barrow to deny an EQ. Perks is tanking the creeps. Level 2 now for G2. They don't want this wave to crash just yet. It's good for Damon if it crashes. It should crash into the next wave, not the turret. So this is, this is happy times for Damon. Uh, I didn't get to see the, where the wave landed, but if it lands in front of the tower, then is going to get denied some more. And this is uh, good news. Oh, the wave is very nice. You stop hitting it. Stop hitting it. Stop fucking... Oh, they're diving? They're diving. They're di diving. That's the only reason you would hit. I like this. This is a good dive. Good dive. Good dive. First punch. No, 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 no. Oh, here we go again. Here I am, once again, falling into pieces. Oh, oh, okay. Well, that's, that's a worth. It's a big worth for G2. Fuck it. Corky double kill. Corky's going to have a full Charlie Sheen coming into the mid lane, but uh, this could have been executed better. Nautilus flash autoed when they have all the time in the world. Let Rek'Sai walk up. Let Gragas waste his E. You know, no problem. Maybe even one shot Gragas. You can one shot the Gragas first and then the E is not in the way. Here, just fucking wait for the Rek'Sai. Why do you flash? Why do you flash? 
Don't flash, walk up, use the time that is this big monster wave. I know, understand that they're trying to go before the level 2, but I think they can squeeze it in here. They can squeeze it in here. Definitely. Look, they're still... Bam! Beryl gets level 2 on Mickey X's death. They're trying to go before the level 2. Maybe this is what Mickey's paying attention to, but... You know, the dive became a bit sloppy when this was a wonderful scenario for G2. A big wave stacked. This wave could drown a continent. You know? This could... This wave could give us a new version of We Are The World with Michael Jackson's son or something. Who knows? Maybe I should bring up Michael Jackson. Controversial topics. I don't want controversial topics on my channel. I'm gonna divide the audience here. It's not like R. Kelly, you know? He's like, no one likes R. Kelly anymore. Obviously. He's fucked up. Okay. G2 now with a lead, but the gold is a bit more spread out. Uh, Canyon got too far away while all of this happened, and he tried to pressure into top, but it looks like uh, Wonder is uh, is doing fine. Klepto Jace here. You know, uh, Yorick, if he gets ahead. Ninja Tabby, Trinity Force. I think he starts to shift the matchup. He's going to look to throw his little uh, monkeys onto Noguri. Barrel uh, hooks in, but Jace is, uh, you know, also super far behind. He is forked. He is fucked. It's a pickaxe against a dagger. And now G2 with their stronger mid lane 2v2, they are roaming towards bot side because Corky Lee is not a 2v2, man. This is, you know, sure, you have some options of Wing in with Corky and then Lee fo follows you and then W, uh, w on to Corky. But Rek'Sai and Rise have a way easier time to pressure. Rise also pushes very fast. He has a big mana pool, has a lot of AoE damage. You get the gist of it. That one will have to recover a lot on Corky package. G2 uh, now letting the wave slow push in towards themselves, which is okay. They're going to freeze the wave under the tower and play on the fact that Yankos is bottom side. No summoners bottom for down one except this Ignitus. Nuguri pushing in. Yorick is uh, waiting for Plant. He's waiting for Plant. Plant is not spawning in time. He's going top. As Yasuo 2 0 record nuclear, it's gonna turn into a 2 1 because this is looking like a wonderful game for G2. They have a beautiful draft and uh, nuclear is not playing Kaiser. So, here, I don't know how what happened to the wave, but G2 uh, managed to make the wave push towards uh, that one instead. Ooh! The wind wall went to Africa and back. Actually, it didn't come back, it just stayed in Africa. And the uh, barrel's gonna die here. Wonderful for G2. Game winning. Mickey shaking intensifies. Brrr. Brrr. Shaking intensifies. Yasuo is getting rectified. Now, you know, I was talking about how picking Jace into the Korean teams is a mistake. Picking Yasuo bot against G2 is a mistake. The wave management here, you know, I was talking about stacking big waves and harassing nuclear under the turret when he's trying to last hit it. Well, the next point to that was to even fucking dive. And Yanko's perfect timing, this is something that they planned out, they know they can stack a big wave, and boom, what is this wind wall? This wind wall. Jeez, these are the type of wind walls that, uh, uh, you know, they delay planes. When you're, when you're on a plane, they're like, we have to delay for one hour because of the Yasuo yeah, wind wall. That's that's the reason right there. Mana immune. Phew. Mana immune seven minutes. Beautiful. 53 CS. Going for Road of Ages build with Rise in the mid lane. I respect it. Perks. So much money ahead. Look at Nuclear. He is poor. Beryl almost has more. Jesus. Perks also with the shaking. This is fucking world championship. Shake all you want, man. Okay. Okay, okay. Caps. Maintaining prior against... Corky, natural. Corky is looking to uh, use his mana, trade with caps, and then just base and just use that package for some pressure because that's what that one need. Use the package to get some pressure, give some breathing room. Bottom matchup is boom. And uh, Yorick has Ninja Tabi, so he outscaled already in top lane. Ninja Tabi is not balanced. Wonders uh, getting LHP back with his Q reset. Plant, I mean, the ward fell on his forehead. Gets more money in the bank. It's the worst thing you can get, you know, when you have full inventory and you start looting fucking wards. 
Nogori getting some good poke. I would love to see Nogori's klepto numbers here. Because that would tell a tale. Canyon is uh, sniffing some action here. Caps and Yankos are hovering into top side. Oh, that's the rise ultimate. Wonder is quite tanky though. He's quite tanky. Ninja Tabi, as we said. Caps. They're going for one. Okay. Can they get two? They cannot get two. Chase is going to go into mid because Cap said, this is my wave. So he's going to surf it. He's going to surf it and Jace is going to go catch mid. If Jace does, I mean, Yorick doesn't catch mid, then uh, Yorick is gonna, uh, Jace is going to be ahead of this. Oh, he's going to be late on mid. One wave dead. Show make it with package, hovering into bottom. Bottom is already recalling, so it's a very good timing. Very good for you to base when your team is making play on top. So if you're playing a team and you have Pry on bot and you're like, fuck, I want to play aggressive, I want to play aggressive, Wah. you probably can't because the enemy is going to respond by going into bottom side and when that happens, you know, all you got to do is do something useful. Either go into mid lane or base. Basing was a good option here. I like it. Even maybe they could have pressured harder. But Showmaker with the package was hovering into bottom. Kaiser and uh, Nautilus was basing. Lovely. Pickaxe by... Uh, big item advantage on Kaiser. I'm gonna take a sip to celebrate. I'm not gonna do it the Yankos way because honestly, it fucking didn't make any sense. I don't know how to drink like that. Imagine playing Graga Super against Mickey X. Fucking Graga's one trick. Holy Mickey is shaking his screen so much you have the fucking animation of Mountain Drake behind him. You could imagine that uh, it's Mountain Drake making all the shaking, but it's Mickey. All Mickey. So now we have to pay attention to Janko's decision making because he has a lot of options. Canyon doesn't have a lot of options. If he runs into Rek'Sai at the wrong lane, for example mid lane or bottom lane, he's in trouble. So here all Canyon can do is try to impact top lane. But even there, in some scenarios, because of this Ninja Tabi on Yorick, G2 can win out. G2 channeling their clutch gaming and going towards uh, the Herald, the sweep. Doesn't spot the ward, so G2 is dancing on this ward. The wave is crashing, Yorick is going into bottom, and uh, Damon are looking to match. I think the best thing Damon could have done is to mismatch and be happy about it, but maybe diving Yorick is just too difficult, because Yasuo is so fucking weak. If you're too weak to dive Yorick, then you're in a uh, in a lot of trouble if you uh, uh, mismatch. And that could be the case. Dimitarilla is used for Mickey. Four people on top side, Yorick is on bottom. Jace most likely has to base and TP bottom, otherwise Yorick is getting too much. And then Yorick has TP advantage, could be helpful. Oh, instead, that one are going to force. Corky, Trinity Force, Yasu with the zeal. Trinity Force is the big outlier here. That one looking to force but honestly g2 should be very happy if they can just uh, uh hit mid tower here and ignore this fight okay that's a fight that's not a fight you want to take g2 they get noguri noguri is dead canyon is in the pit showmaker all flashes out mm-hmm okay perks 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 is dead i think this fight didn't need to take this fight i don't like this fight Ooh. Ghoulie McGool blocking the Q from Lee. So honestly, here, in the position they were in, I think just hit mid tower, hit bottom tower, be happy. Oh, shit. What the hell? I got a subscriber while I'm doing a video and I'm not even online. There can. Well, God bless you. God bless you. Just because you did that, you get some coaching, man. I'm gonna coach you. Send me a replay in my DMs, there can, and I'm gonna... Fucking give you some coaching. Alright? You win a special prize. God bless your soul. Let's continue. So we were talking about how we didn't want D2 to contest this rift. Corky committed. Jace committed. Corky with the Trinity Force. Power spike. Kaiser was strong. Sure they could have forced a fight, but Rift Tower was already gone. Bottom tower. You can finish that bottom tower. Rotate into mid, hover into bottom, deny that Jace TP to defend the tower, you can get the first tower, Rift Tower is not gonna matter. You're gonna get more plates. You're gonna get more plates, more moolah, more moolah, more money. Don't need to force. You could have gotten plates in mid lane as well. 
I like the scenario here for G2, but instead they went for the fight. They used the TP. Nuguri TP down to bottom to solve the wave. Nuguri now gets away. Don't like it. Don't like it. Any way Yuri can get ahead is a big, massive plus. Any way Yuri can get closer to Trinity Force and more items, he's going to start to destroy Jace. The matchup shifts very heavily, and Jace needs to play in a very cocktail fashion. Here now they try to gank Jace onto bottom, but this gives Damwon a lot of free room to push top all the way and use Showmaker to pressure into top. Perks need to respect, referral crashes, boom, and uh, boom pow, you know? Boom pow. They got the first tower. That one uh, staying even in this game after all of that shit we saw them going through on the bot lane. So this is the fight that we didn't want to see. Mickey is going. Q lands on Jace. Jace gets blown up. Boom. Janko's flashes. And then Caps is in the pit somehow. But I think Gragas is just smurfing on him. Caps is... Actually, what the fuck is Caps doing? He's just flashing into the pit. Here is just... You know, you can... You can flash towards your team. As you're giving uh, Damon an escape path here, when uh, Damon potentially could have been in a funnel situation where G2 could have cleaned up. Uh, and then Caps, I mean Perks, this is not Perks, this is Droops. You have Perks and then you have Droops, this is Droops. Because uh, this ult in is um, definitely optimistic, and you should know that Yasuo has exhaust. Very optimistic. Uh, two uh, players here on G2, the two best performers here on G2. Uh, didn't play so well in this team fight. It's a, it's a negative sign here. Negative sign. Because honestly here, just from what Jankos and and uh, and Perks here, they did all alone, as long as Caps didn't uh, participate here, you know, all would have been good. It was a beautiful engage from Mickey. They found Jace if they wanted to really fight this. But I think the decision is just wrong. Yori could have had solo tower on bottom, and they could have had maybe another plate on mid lane. A lot of CS were lost there from down one. They would have lost... Let's say 24 CS, which is around 400 gold, and um, maybe even a bit more, maybe, a, yeah, somewhere like 400 gold, and they would lose first tower. It would have been a beautiful scenario for G2. They would have been ahead on gold, and the Rift Tile wouldn't matter at all. They were just in a position where that one, oh, no flash on Nuguri, no flash on Nuguri. Canyon, Canyon, ooh, nice flash from Wonder and the sidestep to follow up. TP from Rise, not necessary. Okay. Okay. I've seen this. Uh, hi. Uh, okay. I can hold that as meme. Cloud Drake. Very boring Drakes in this uh, in this series so far. Very boring Drakes. And IG versus Griffin. Infernal. 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 It was like Disco Inferno. It was uh, a great ball of fire. Yeah, so static shift now is starting to um, become a bit useful. Well, Kaiser has Q upgrade already. He's super happy. Uh, the fight, uh, I think uh, Gragas flash is very important for uh, Damwon's engage here. But the fact that package is timed so neatly here is very good for Damwon. And the package might just be the difference uh, as to why Wonder and his team don't want to fight this one. When Nuguri, uh, with the CS advantage and the Klepto advantage, now a Black Cleaver potentially can win Yorick. Yorick, even though Trinity Force is a big power spike, maybe it's not enough at this point in time uh, to win. Tabi Ninja, uh, no Tabi Ninja on Nautilus, but three Tabi Ninja on Ryze uh, and Rek'Sai and Yorick collectively. I don't mean that they have three Ninja Tabi each, but collectively they share three Ninja pairs. Three Ninja Tabi pairs. Wonder pushing down with this troll of a skin. I think macro wise, you know, G2. Uh, honestly, I think Damon with Corky mid and blue buff, they should be able to get prior against G2. Uh, I think Damon right now are in a good state. Before Yorick is going to win Jace convincingly, then it's going to be tricky. The 1v1 between Jace and uh, Rise, I. Not too sure about who wins, but I could imagine the Rise wins because of the Ninja Tabi, but I'm not completely sure. So take it with a grain of salt. I think Damon are in good state. Corky is in mid lane, taking the prior. You can see it's just poking away, shoot, firing rockets. He's very happy. Showmaker decides to catch that W to show dominance. Battle now with Flash up. 
Next fight is going to be a dangerous one. G2 are trying to connect with their spells. Noguri has no flash. Looking for the one shot, but Caps has Ninja Tabby. Ninja Tabby. Yay. Ninja Tabby. Woo. Of course, on Kaiser, you can't get Ninja Tabby because you're not going to reach your E upgrade. Very important. Mickey shaking intensifies even further. By game five. Jesus, you're gonna fucking, you're gonna be able to read Mickey X movements on the Richter scale or whatever you call the one that calculates, you know, calculates the amount of shakes or whatever, <laughs> earthquakes. I don't know what it calculates. No idea. <laughs> okay, Wonder in the mid lane. He's getting Pryo somehow. Maybe that's the way. Put Yorick in the mid lane to get Pryo. I honestly though, Koki should still get prior in the mid lane and uh, G2 finds a neat play uh, onto bottom. A very good use of Fog there and Nautilus roaming with his mobility boots. Uh, it makes it acceptable that he has no Ninja Tabi. G2 looking to pressure through top lane. They're walking through a couple of wards. No sweeper was used. And uh, the 2v2, Yankos is so monster fed that the 2v2 uh, of, uh, of Rice and, and, and Rexa is going to beat anyone. So 2-2-1 two, two, looks kind of juicy. Uh, let's see how uh, the bottom matchup uh, uh, evolves now that uh, Yorick has a bunch of items. Wow, Mickey, calm down. I keep saying Mickey, camera shake, but I'm just going to move myself over here. So then you guys can participate in watching Mickey X uh, camera shakes. I just realized that I've been cover covering them the whole time. Just glad then that uh, I got to uh, tell you guys. Okay. Barrel showing up on top lane. Yasuo, it's weird to place Yasuo anywhere because he has no place anywhere. Looks like Damwon is trying to uh, match with Corky Lee on top side, but I think Rexai, uh, Rexai Rise should win, definitely. They have uh, more burst, uh, more uh, convenient CC to uh, push onto the enemy. Uh, Wonder getting to push his bottom lane for free. Uh, there's, there's just going to be a point in the game where Yorick hard wins the chase. Maybe that time has come yet, I'm not too sure. But there is a point when it happens, and when it happens, it usually comes from one of these chimpanzee grenades that you throw, and then, you know, it, uh, all these fucking ghouls just jump on you, and then you're like, oh shit, I do damage, and then you're like, oh, I won. Then you hit that one W, and uh, Jace is like, fuck, I need to flash. Yeah, I don't lose, I don't, I don't win side anymore. And that's it. This is um, a story I've heard many times. Guys are going AP, of course. He has 80 jungle, 80 top. Rise is getting that prior in the top lane. This is a classic caps move. What you want to do is, you know, you love being Rise on side because you kill jungle so fast. It's a bit of a problem that Rise doesn't stack his Archangel yet. You know, it's a clear sign of not using Q when you walk home, uh, walk out of base. Clear sign of it. 20 minutes, I think you can get it on 16, something like that. You know, you can... You can get it earlier. I think Caps just didn't spam Q when he was walking to lane. So Aya Baya. Caps doesn't give a shit about this Dretsky. He's just continuing to push. And that's a good approach, honestly. Because I think here, if they get stronger in the side lanes, this is going to translate to more pressure. And it's going to translate into the Dragon. Wunder is walking away from bottom, obviously, because he can't really do much. So G2 are doing this power move where they're forcing a reaction from Damon to go all the way into motherfucking top lane. After forcing Damon to go all the way into top lane, G2 is going to look to pressure Nash unless a fight happens. Showmaker finds a lot of damage onto Mickey. Mickey with his Moby boots, he's like, where are my ninja tabbies? Ah. To be fair, oh, 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 oh. oh, what happened? Rewind that tape. Nuclear just fucking does a drive-by, like, what the fuck? He just gets knocked up and his wind wall is trash. Nuclear with no Kaisa. Kek W. Kek W. Massive Kek W. Boom. Boom. Okay. G2. Very far ahead now. Yorick. Super good state of the game. Rise. Super good state of the game. Buying some more armor. Why not? He can match the Jace on bottom if he wants to, but I think... You know, uh, Yorick against uh, Korki on top is not going to be that great. 
Let's see now if G2 can close this game. They have uh, not been that steady recently. Not that steady, honestly. They're kind of like, you know, they've had, um, they have had some issues. That's for sure. Nuclear. Jesus. Boom. Perk saw him. Janko saw him. And that was enough to take it home. It's funny, every time we say Yorick in the mid lane, he's getting the prior, you know, he's getting the respect that he deserves. Maybe a bit too much. It's so weird here because nuclear is just dead meat, you know, you just fucking, oh, where do I go, guys? It's like, ah, oh, we just fucking want, to, we don't want you to go anywhere. You're going to lose wherever you go. So just fucking take the Raptors and be quiet. Let Corky take the CS. This Yasuo is not going to fucking recover. This, this is a dead Yasuo. This Yasuo is fucked. Naguri doing some movement, but the Q, look at that. David Spade, tsh, right in the forehead. Naguri losing almost half his HP. Caps is coming in now. Caps maybe could fucking one-shot Naguri. I wouldn't be surprised if he could just fucking pop that thing. What is it called? Righteous Glory and just fucking Q, E, Q, W, Q. Q, E, Q, W, Q, E, Q. Could be enough to kill Jaystar and that HP. Oh, what is Santa bringing? They do a lot of damage with this mountain. They have Rise and Kaiser. They're like designed to kill uh, Baron. Rise is uh, no TP. What the fuck did he use TP for? I don't fucking remember. It's gonna take, like, let's take a step back. So the Rise TP happens into the mid lane. Don't like. But whatever. I think maybe they could cause some damage by diving Yorick together, you know, go for uh, Wunder and uh, Caps, one-shotting and Uguri on site. That would have been beautiful. I think they could have gotten more value off of this TP, but I think Caps was just done. He was like, I don't know, I didn't use my TP for so long, I was just gonna fucking go. But it's an avenue. Always when you have two TPs in late parts of the game, you can consider, can we go two bottom? We can just TP onto Nash if they do it. Yeah? Okay, let's try it. Let's gank. Let's, let's do some something creative. Because it's hard to be in that mindset if you're Uguri. But of course, uh, Caps is so strong in the top side, so he can just get the prior. He can push all the way to the inhib, take the golems, base, and then roam bottom. That could have been a beautiful play. Because uh, when you push all the way with Rise, it buys you a lot of time. Uh, the big thing here is still, if Corky goes in the mid lane, then Perks and Mickey doesn't get prior. So uh, what Dama want to do is group four on mid and then walk into top side, break uh, this push that Caps is creating. Caps is rotating into mid lane. Dama are looking to siege. Wunder is walking up. I think maybe he could have taken a bit more damage there. But he's walking up and Mickey already missed his Q. So I think that one could hit a bit further. Poke is pretty decent here from uh, from that one. They have Corky and uh, Jace. So definitely it does plenty of damage. Static Shiv. No IE yet on, on, on uh, Yasuo. Barrel gets, uh, gets queued by Mickey. Wonder looking for the cage, gets the cage, barrel flashes, very important flash, very important flash, barrel walking up a bit too far. Uh, that one needed to take it a bit more easier, understand their position there, that they are just playing for the poke, and um, if they can land a bit more poke, maybe they can find the fight of their dreams. Caps is being spotted here, he's trying to find, oh, okay, that's pretty difficult, that's pretty fucking hard, it's a big deal, Corky no red. Might be the difference maker. Maybe maybe he could have buy a rapid fire cannon now if he had the red buff. Who knows? It's 100 G's as well. Jankos gets it. Let's see what Wunder can base for. Is it a Starak already? Or is he going for Titanic Hydra? Oh, he's going for Frozen Heart, the rise. What a maniac. He's uh, overcapping his CDR, but he has. Uh, it's just a sign that he has Transcendence, which means he gets AP if he has too much CDR. All good. If he has celerity, then yeah, it's pretty troll. It's uh, I think transcendence most of the time is bad to celerity, it's such a washed up mastery. Two items finally finished on Yasuo, but still dead meat. He's two items behind everyone else. Two items finished on Yorick as well, but his items are more expensive than Yasuo's items. So we don't bully him the same way. And the further and further this game goes on, this Jace is going to struggle more and more on side. But the Corky is scaling, right? 
Corky is scaling, Kaiser and Rise is scaling. Rise is this scaling just as well when he has this build? Honestly, not so sure. I think the death cap is such a massive item for Rise because of how uh, AP uh, works with his mana. But now he's going for a Frozen Heart instead. So I'm not too sure. Unless he's going for uh, a fucking... What's his support item called that uh, puts you on fire? Okay. Damon grouping on mid lane, taking the prior. Ryze is hovering on bot side, looking to get a kill. He doesn't have TP, so he's just looking to R towards uh, the Nash, of course. This is why I wanted them to keep the TP, because they could look to pressure Noguri like this always, and if Corki is caught off guard, then it's monstrous. Okay, Noguri flashed. I love this play. I love it. I love it so much because obviously I suggested it. If I didn't suggest it, then I would be like, wow, cool. But just because I suggested it, I, I can have, I, I want to have more credit. You know, that's why I love the play so much. Okay, okay, okay. What was this? Caps. What on earth was this? You have a glacial shroud and all of a sudden you think you're a tonk or what? The fuck was that? Get out of here with this shit, man. What the fuck? Yankos. Yankos is gonna die too. Is this down one Nash? Yankos flash into E. Good one. What did Showmaker do in all this? He's trying to pass. He's like, hey, okay, I'm just gonna pass here. Okay. What on earth? Holy shit. He's like, I, I don't like this attention that Caps is getting here from my team. I want some attention too. Ah. This was a... A good start of a fight here for, for G2. They force the Nasho, TP in good position. They have full vision. They are forcing a reaction from Damwon. They manage to get the flash of Nuguri. Nuguri is backing off and they're thinking about bottom. And boom, all of a sudden they start Nash. Damwon react by walking towards Nash. They're trying to find the flank. And honestly here, just Caps is a bit too optimistic with his R. And uh, here I felt like G2 could just fight slowly and potentially uh, get away with a kill or two. Let's take a look again here, because Canyon is in deep trouble, gets to W out. Uh, and here, potentially, if they don't go, maybe they can just walk back to Nash, walk it back to Nash. Leeson was chunked to fuck, had to burn Flash, maybe they could have just fucking done Nash. And if they did, all of a sudden it's beautiful. And then here, with Caps dying, if Showmaker just doesn't run it down, it, it could be G2 that was in trouble. But instead, both mid laners agree to just fucking int it, which is cool. We still get to have a competitive game. It would be pathetic if, you know, it ended in such a fashion. G2 can go for Nash. Perks already punching it away. Has Ginzu. Has Double Mountain. And there is no juggler uh, ready to smite here on Damon's side. And uh, in a Damon fashion, usually they give up Nashes like this. Yankos doesn't have smite. Maybe they know, maybe they don't. And boom, the W of Kaiser does more damage than smite with stacks. Okay. I think Yankos was as surprised as I was. Uh, God bless. So Caps. Well, um, he, he smoked some good stuff here. Canyon is already out. Boom. Canyon, low HP. No flash as well from Canyon. And then Caps is like, oh, I'm going to run it down. And then look at Showmaker. You know, sometimes I watch videos of Magnus Carlsen playing blind chess. And that's super impressive. Uh, I've never seen anyone say, play Blind League of Legends, but this is why it doesn't work. Because if you close your eyes and you just get caught like this, usually you're going to lose games. So this is the only explanation I can give for this. Sometimes the best players in the world just want to fucking show off of it. Then boom, Yankos. Why did Canyon take a step back like that? It could have been the difference. But G2, uh, going towards that victory, uh, big time. I think their mistake was to uh, fight at the Drift Herald. I don't think they needed to. I think they would have gotten more. Maybe they just thought they were stronger and better in that position. And possibly that's true. But Kaiza and, uh, and Ryze didn't play that fight so well. Mickey getting caught. Iconic duo at this point in time. G2 playing a, a good steady game. I think their macro at later parts in the game becomes so crisp and... Uh, definitely when they are in a position to win, 
they really really suffocate their enemy so even though I'm I'm, I'm joking a lot about G2 uh, the way they play the later parts of the game realizing that uh, Rice can go into bottom side and uh, and pressure uh, was beautiful they forced Nuguri flash and they burnt a tower and uh, G2 are in this game to win it 10k gold ahead now and it should be enough for them to close out QSS finished on Kaiser very good item against Yasu surprisingly Wonder finding the entry frag and then Perks is chasing away Q lands on Wonder but Wonder has Ninja Tabi Whoa! I am a Ninja Tabi enthusiast it's like a, going to an AA meeting, but instead for alcohol, it's for mother freaking Ninja Tabi. G2 will look for end. 20 seconds on three guys. Showmaker trying to use his package. Ooh, look at that burst from that AP Kaiser. G2 looking for the two and one. Showmaker trying to try to go in there. Showmaker with this move doesn't change a single thing g2 don't celebrate too much you're 2-1 you're 2-1 i predicted 3-1 you need to keep calm keep calm good draft adaptation look at nuclear without kaiser boom he goes boom the yasuo trying to pick yasuo gragas versus the you know if you if for some reason Mickey turn into a champion one day. He would just wake up looking at. He would be like this fat ginger with alcohol problems, and uh, uh, and you know, Perks would be this emo samurai thing. You know, uh, they are the Yasuo Gragas players. They understand how to control the wave. They even set up that big fat dive. Rise at prior onto the Corky. Beautiful. The execution could have been a bit better, but that snowballed the whole bottom lane. Uh, Corky got two kills, but Caps was like, no problem. When Caps is being put in a matchup that is better 1v1, he is getting uh, the better of Showmaker. And uh, Showmaker is getting so little attention from his jungle, and uh, that's probably the biggest issue here. Showmaker is very good 1v1, but as a team, I think that one is not uh, giving enough space onto that mid lane. Uh, uh, all in all, this game, uh, Yorick didn't get pressured enough. The Klepto uh, uh, worked for some time, but then Yorick uh, uh, got the pressure uh, from his teammates. A lot of good uh, Mickey X roams that uh, killed Jace one time. And then the Rise ultimates were also on point. And uh, it didn't feel like uh, that one had good ways of forcing or any clear objectives of how they wanted to play their composition. It was kind of all over the place. When you have a Yasuo, Corky, Jace, it's bound to be all over the place. One wants to poke and play slow. One wants to do something else. One wants to scale. One wants to go early. It's a bit, it's a bit too creative, a bit too all over the place. Here with uh, G2's composition, clear and concise, uh, clear timings where they want to fight, clear timings when they want to scale, clear timings where they wear, not clear timings, but clear direction in what they want to pressure and here i think it was very difficult for for canyon to accomplish much after bottom was boom mid 2v2 was also boom and yankos was playing around it beautifully giving caps the space and always playing together this is uh, a, a very strong g2 here very very good uh, uh, mid lane uh, 2v2 play uh, from g2 that allowed them to control the whole game afterwards they had a lead and uh, that was all she wrote. Let's head into the next game. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing, dear Can. Uh, please hit me up in the DMs on Twitter and you're going to get your, uh, your coaching. If you're interested, if you don't want it, you can just tell me to fuck off and not write to me at all. If you didn't watch this video, sucks as well. Uh, maybe I'll catch you on a stream someday. Peace.